So, I just got done watching or reading or whatever Agrippa. Um, I thought it was very boring at first. Um, and I know that people would argue that probably in this day and age with um, how fast everything comes to people, you know, we have fast foods, we have technology, Google, internet, phones, um, everything so instant that that could be why I had such little patience while waiting for it to scroll up so I could read the rest um, because I quite often found myself like wandering like I would read everything and I've been tried to read it slower. I'm generally a slow reader anyway so that's fine um, but I could even reread it twice and then when there weren't more words or I got bored I'd be like what damn it I... <sighs> so I'm one of those that like I really have to have that steady pace and read through it otherwise you just you lose me and I'm gone so that kind of hurt while reading the story um and I wasn't super interested in the story as a whole, so that didn't help. Um, but there were two things that totally sucked me in. And I'll have to watch it, read it, whatever it, again, to see if this holds true. But I didn't really start to get interested until the part where he said he made it to the age of blah, 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 irrelevant to me. Um, but not much past that and never in that town that was mine to know because I thought that was just genius that's one of the best things I have ever heard and I'm gonna use it a ton in my writing just that thought process that you know there are things that my daughter is going to experience that are hers to know and will never be mine and same thing for me in reference to my parents and grandparents, etc. And um, even the fact that, you know, he wouldn't know that town. Like, my parents don't live here anymore, and so they don't know Davenport as I know it. And so they may have lived here, or my dad grew up here, but... They don't know Davenport as I know Davenport now, just as I don't know Davenport as they knew then. Well, he knew. My mom moved here because of him. Um, and then eventually it kind of lost me again. You know, my mind was trailing. I was like, oh. But then it brought me back again um, when he said, There must have been a true last time I saw. Again, what he saw was irrelevant to me but I don't remember. I know he was talking about um, the station, but it's one of those things where you just don't know when it's going to be the last time that you see something, and you may not even realize how important it was to you until later. Um, I actually had a phobia of this. Not a phobia, it wasn't that bad. Um, but just, just a fear of my friends who have become some of my best friends or even people who I mean a lot to as an inspiration um, or even somebody I've dated like I've had people tell me that they vividly remember the first time they met me and I'm just like oh uh yeah <laughs> I don't remember that at all. Ooh. And so it sucks because something that's so important to them, you know, you can't remember. And so I just really related with that part because I have it. Usually at the beginning, um, I've been lucky to not really experience much loss. So that's good for me for now. Um, but, I mean, I remember the last time I saw Cheddar's, the restaurant that... I worked at until it closed down and I met most of my very best friends there and I remember seeing it before it became Pepper Jack's. I remember seeing it before they tore it down. I took pictures of when they tore it down and I'm very glad that, you know, 
there was that conscious like oh I saw it last there you go because it does suck when you're just like oh yeah I don't remember when was the last time but you know I know there was a time and it's just that that really stuck with me um, my boyfriend did watch some of it with me and I thought it was funny because he was like I'm kind of waiting for like a witch to jump out at the end or something and I was like I'll let you know so I was snapchatting him to see you know if it did um, just one more note on Agrippa um, this was probably amazing for when it came out kind of like I saw Tron maybe four or five years ago it was like right before Tron Legacy was coming out I don't remember but I know like everybody talked about how amazing it was but when I saw it I was just like eh I'm mean, sure I guess it's because I grew up with this technology and so I can't appreciate the original Tron near as much as I can appreciate something like 3D. I mean, really, 3D is not that cool, but that's all I can think of to compare it to. Um, maybe HDTV? Um, um, crickets? I don't know. Maybe, like, I can compare it to um, dial-up versus high-speed internet because you know my daughter will never understand that she complains that the internet's slow and I'm like huh, yeah you have no idea what it was like to sign on to AOL oh you don't know you poor girl so I just cool different um not super interested in the story as a whole. Maybe it would have been different if I read it on paper in a book. Who knows? Um, but yeah, that's all I've got for Agrippa.